being at the spear and seeing Adam and, and dude, I, I haven't been starstruck in a very long time. You know what I mean? Like, and people come up to me, uh, not often, but every once in a while. And they're like, almost like, ah, uh, is that really? And they're like, kind of like speechless. And I'm like, yeah, let's just take the picture. You don't got to act. I know you are doing this just to try and ask to take a picture. Let's just take the picture. I was, and I, that was my first realization of like, oh no, I was like that with these. I didn't know what to say. I just kept saying, I don't know what to say. And on there, and I've been on that, and it's like, dude, will you stop saying that? Like, ha- offer me something of dude, substance. I swear to God, I didn't know what to say to these I'd guys. Rather, I was I'd so rather like, you, I'd rather you'd say something or a movie quote than just sit here and say, I exactly, don't know what to say. but I couldn't. I couldn't muster anything. <laughs> David Spade's right in front of me. I've seen all of his freaking movies. Dude, Joe Dirt, freaking Tommy Boy, like dude, everything. And I got oh. nothing. I got nothing to offer this dude. I'm just sitting here like, uh, uh. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening right now. <laughs> All of my childhood heroes are right here. This is nuts. <laughs> it's a real thing. You blacked out. You McCall Hardman. I'm McCall you Hardman in front of, I, I, I shut the bed. Whatever. That's cool. <laughs> These guys are awesome. <laughs> Dude, I've had the pleasure of uh, meeting the Sandman. It was the uh, I had a. It was the same thing, dude. I was just in shock that he was even in front of me and acknowledging I, I existed. I existed. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was the same way when I met Shaq too, and Charles Barkley. Charles came up to me. Chuck came up. To, I think I've already told this, but Chuck came up to me at an NBA Finals game in Cleveland and said and said how how big of a fan he was. I was just like, no fucking Chuck, you don't even know. What kind of fan? Like I fucking worship you, Chuck. Well, well, obviously, I couldn't say that to his face, but yeah, he knew. Well, he knew. He how knows. Much I he knows. I've told him also multiple times. Yeah. We also had the New Heights party. We had the Kelsey House party throw down, and dude, it did not disappoint. Everybody came out to that thing. God damn it! Shout out to Wave Sports. Did an outstanding job replicating. Shout out to the Wave. There we go, boys. In some ways, our house, like this wallpaper, was it's exactly awesome. the wallpaper dude. that was in our living room growing 100%. up. One hundred percent. It was very so odd good. to see that. The other stuff, I mean, it, it, it was just kind of I think it's just old furniture because that's not what our furniture looked like. But it was, uh, it was really, really cool. They did an unbelievable job putting this whole thing together. Shout out to Kayla and Haley for working on this. It was, uh, and I mean, for promoting it. It was remarkable how many people uh, came out and turned out. I uh, wish you could have been there because I think you would have loved Knowing you, you would have loved it. Oh, it man, been, you already know I would have had a fucking really blast cool. with it, dude. There's also a I Nintendo was, 64. There was a lot there of FOMO. Blitz. There was a lot of FOMO because I had everybody hitting me up, asking me to kind of help them get through the door and get on the list and everything. And I realized that um, that was a lot harder because of how many people wanted to go to this thing. Like it was, it was pretty jam packed in there, huh? The dude, it was jam packed with everybody, dude, players, former it, players, man. celebrities. So cool, Keegan Michael Key came over after honors. Hell yeah, uh, Key. Cam Hayward came over after winning Walter Payton Man of the Year. Yep, it was go. it was nuts how many people showed out to that. Shout time. out to Cam Hayward, man. Dwight Freeney and Bruce Smith right after getting nominated for or right after getting uh, announced that they'd be inducted into the Hall of Fame were over there. That's awesome, man. Freaking uh. Um, oh my gosh. Um, Rashid Wallace Big, was in there. Rashid did, man. Yeah. I had on, I had on his forces, man. I had the there sheets. Yeah. There you oh go. man. It's a, one of my favorite people of all time, man. Huge chiefs fan. For those of you that don't know, that's right. Uh, Sheed is a huge chiefs fan, man. He's, he's been repping the chiefs hard since like the fucking nineties or in the early two thousands, man. That's pretty yeah. fucking cool. I wish I was Dude, there, man. And it didn't stop after that. As we all know at the game. We just talked about this. It was so many people in attendance. Had the chance to meet Sir Paul McCartney. Dude, Paul McCartney. I mean, you're watching the game. I'm sitting, I'm standing with Miles Teller. Shout out to Miles. We were partying all night, but Miles, um, big Eagles fan. We're watching the game, talking ball. He's a huge football fan. And all of a sudden I hear Taylor behind me like, Jason, turn around. I look around Paul McCartney standing right there. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this? There's royalty in the office. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did he get knighted? He had to. He's for sure knighted. knighted. That's why he's Sir Paul McCartney. (laughs) That guy is a living uh, piece of royalty. Also got to meet Ice Spice, which I was introduced to her as Ice. So fucking cool, man. Yeah, she was very nice. She's awesome for showing up and showing support like that. Absolutely. I got to meet her uh, with uh, Taylor over at SNL. She was the uh, musical guest at uh, SNL. um, On uh, I think after our Thursday night game. Is either after our Thursday night game or? You kind of did it. Um, you had like the like kind of guest appearance. The opening, yeah. The yeah, opening, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
skit was uh <laughs> i think uh fox maybe or cbs yes. I, I forget which crew they were in intim- they were impersonating but uh yeah i jumped on there and then taylor introduced ice spice because they're good friends and um they saw they met at the or they saw each other at the grammys and i said she was going to be out there and we had to get her in the suite so and then of course taylor going viral for her chugging moment let's watch this clip all right now check that one out I'm not going to lie. I didn't know what was going on at first. I was sitting behind him and I saw him go for the drinks. And then I was, oh, oh, this is happening. Chug, chug. Like, I'm like, oh, she's getting after it. Pretty cool. This is on the Jumbotron. Nice. Jumbotron. Oh, and then the slam down. That's what I'm saying. She's done this before. She's yeah, a pro. I mean, not her first rodeo. She's a pro. All right now. Vegas did not disappoint. Very electric. A um, lot out of the house. I'm so happy to be back in the house, and I'm going to stay in the house for, for a little bit here. It is a joy to be back in the house. <laughs>